As a water systems professional, a key component for meeting our customers' needs are our products. And for those who need temporary, clear water removal or circulated, the Little Giants 5 Series Utility Pump is your answer. But really, what is this product? I'm Jeremiah Brody, and today I'll unpack the components of the 5 Series. Cast aluminum construction, a removable screen, a 1 inch discharge, and 3 quarter inch garden hose adapter. All these components contribute to the overall effectiveness of the 5 Series Utility Pump and your ease of use. Today we'll discuss pump components pertaining to the installation, operation, and maintenance practices with the goal of enabling you to perform quicker procedures. Here are the components you need to know to install your pump. This pump is made of cast aluminum, coated with more than just an average paint. The pump has a baked on epoxy powder coating that protects against corrosion. The handle provides quick and easy transportation to and from the job site. The pump is a 1 inch female MPT discharge port. To this discharge port, connect a 1 inch male MPT threaded pipe or use a 3 quarter inch garden hose adapter and connect to a garden hose. To prevent galvanic corrosion and move water containing high mineral content or metals, consider a sacrificial anode attachment. The cord is available in different lengths according to your specific application needs. Reference the voltage requirements on the pump label. The pump also contains a screen to help from ingesting debris. Left on, the pump will remove water within one eighth of an inch. With the screen removed, the pump will remove water within one sixteenth of an inch. The 5 Series is available in both manual and automatic models. Here are the components you need to know related to pump operation. In manual operation, simply plug the pump into a power source. When the job is done, manually unplug from the power source. Automatic models include a diaphragm switch. As water rises, the pressure is applied to the diaphragm switch. This pressure activates the switch, turning on the pump. As the water level falls, the pressure decreases until the switch deactivates, turning the pump off. Here are the components you need to know in order to perform periodic service on your pump. The bottom of the pump consists of a screen. To remove, pry apart the slots. Here is the balloon, which is held in by screws to the motor. There is also a seal ring, impeller, and volume passage. These components are important to know when performing maintenance procedures on the pump. Let's review. Today we talked about insulation components, including a discharge port, garden hose adapter, and the pump screen. We also talked about operation components for both manual and automatic models. Last, we reviewed the volume seal ring, and other maintenance-related components. To learn more, visit Franklin Tech Online and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Your feedback will help us continue bringing great content. Thanks for watching.